Sanders here. Yeah. That's awesome. That's for the tape. I'm making a tape tonight. That's for the tape. <laughs> so everyone on YouTube will know that I was on stage with Daryl Hammond. <laughs> the man stood right here. Right here. The whole time. So I was on the, I was, I was riding the train on the way up here, and I saw that uh, Jerry Orbach ad in the corner of the train. Actually, it wasn't the corner, it was a little off because no one puts Jerry in the corner. <laughs> but Jerry Orbach, the, the father in Dirty Dancing, um, is in this ad where it's just his face, like, and a caption that reads Jerry Orbach gave his heart and soul to acting and the gift of sight to two New Yorkers. So does that mean that there's two New Yorkers each walking around with one or back eye? <laughs> and what if each eye was trying to get back to the other, like in some bad Jessica Alba thriller? <laughs> like, in a world where nothing is how it looks, two eyes will stop at nothing to find one thing, each other. <laughs> Jessica Alba and Dane Cook star in Jerry Orbach's Eyes. Other romantic comedy like, Greg never believed in love at first sight, neither did Tina, until they both found each other and realized that they were both looking into Jerry Orbach's Eyes. Starring Jessica Alba and Dak Shepard, because he and Dane Cook are pretty much interchangeable. But I just want to know, when did Jerry Orbach become such a legend in New York? Like, our, it, must be, it must be for his work on Law and Order because I refuse to believe that his work as the father in Dirty Dancing gets him his own street. <laughs> There's Jerry Orbach way on like, like 54th Street. Like, how did that happen? Like, if he gets his, if he gets his own street, Patrick Swayze deserves a fucking monument. <laughs> That's battling cancer. And he spent two hours inside Whoopi Goldberg and didn't kill her. <laughs> the man's a saint. About a month ago, a friend of mine turns to me and she goes, did you hear? Who's the boss is dying? I slapped her and slapped myself for hurt it. How can you confuse Tony Danza with one of the greatest cinematic actors of our time? Patrick Swayze was Bodie in Point Break. If you want the ultimate, you gotta get, the, you, gotta, you gotta pay the ultimate price. Patrick Swayze is fucking brilliant. But Tony, what if Tony Danza actually had played all of Patrick Swayze's parts? Like, oh, no one puts baby in a corner. I love you. Ditto. <laughs> Wolverines. Ah! Red Dawn, anybody? Brilliant. But Tony Danza probably has the most storied professional career I've ever heard. The man starts off as a boxer named Tough Tony Danza. And then between there and his marvelous acting career, he had like a pretty substantial porn career. Few know this. And it has to be true because he, that is where he patented... The Danza Slap. Now, for those of you who don't know the Danza Slap, you can consult the Urban Dictionary, which uh, must be true. It states, the Danza Slap is when you are, um, you've just fellatioed into a lovely lady's mouth. You, you take out your dingus, or your zebra muscle, uh, if you will, and you slap her in the face and you say, Danza! That is the Danza Slap. Probably my favorite part of Urban Dictionary is it gives you a sentence with, with, the, with the word or phrase. The sentence is, honest to God, after that hummer, I removed my penis from her mouth, slapped her with it, and yelled, Danza. Boy, was she impressed. Honest to God, I love the internet. The internet completely changed the face of porn. Like I remember, like I, I don't even, I don't even look at, I don't even watch cable anymore. I remember when I was like, when I was a young buck, when I was a, uh, a, a rookie to masturbation, if you will, in high school. And I'd be sitting in my bed, all, all ready, and I'd be, and I'd be getting ready for that one channel, that one channel that would give me porn. Now, gr granted, there was HBO, which was kind of like the Sabbath of porn, because there's only like decent porn on it once a week. And it's not real sex, and it's not taxi cab confessions. Real sex is not real porn. And then the Showtime, which was always a little too avant-garde for me. Like, like whenever the little caption would come up, and it'd be like, strong sexual content, yes. Nudity, yes. Rape. I'll watch for five minutes to see how bad it is. But then there was that one chance, Cinemax. Cinemax was my one shot. It was my one chance to blow. That opportunity came once in a lifetime, yo. Um, <laughs> I had to go 
Um, but it was Skinamax. And Cinemax is completely like rejuvenated. It has now seven channels. That's seven chances for porn every night. That's seven chances for titties. That's seven opportunities. That's seven opportunities. It's <laughs> 14 potential titties every night. It's a lot of titties. It's almost too many titties. But it's always the same titties. It's also always the same men. You always, and you know you've watched too much porn when not only do you notice the men in, on the screen, but you notice that they have recurring characters. <laughs> My favorite Cinemax star is Randy Spears. Now, the only reason why I know his name is because I saw him in a daytime television commercial for one of those ambulance chasing law firms. He is the face of Wasserman, Wasserman, and Wasserman, attorneys at law. <laughs> so you've got, you've got Randy Spears telling you that if you've been wronged by a doctor, he and his associates will go to bat for your legal rights. So what happens? You call Wasserman, and Wasserman, Wasserman, and Wasserman. Girl six picks up the phone. Next thing you know, your case is being taken to court. Randy Spears is your defense attorney. The prosecutor has you, has you on the stand, giving you the business. Next thing you know, the, the judge rips off her gown to expose two very ample opportunities. She starts giving the bailiff head. Randy Spears has a stenographer bent over the table like, uh, have you suffered from malpractice? Huh? And you're, and you're in the corner, like, taut, like huddling from the mayhem. And suddenly Randy Spears looks, looks at you and says, have you been wronged by a doctor? I want to go to bat for your legal rights. He's just coming at you. you you're, you're up against the wall. Suddenly a masked man comes, slaps Randy Spears against the face and says, Danza! <laughs> Takes his mask off and there Tony is. And you and he are looking each other in the eye and you realize that you're both looking into Jerry Orbach's eyes. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. That's all.